Good morning, friends. I am here on Tuesday, and I'm just uh, chilling here, drinking my coffee, having a nice time. I did want to report to you that I bought this little gadget. It is called Safe Touch. And what Safe Touch is, first of all, it's made from copper, which I believe is free of bacteria, virus, whatever, all that kind of stuff, germs. Now, what this does is it allows you to put on your keychain and you press buttons with it. So you don't have to, you know, back in the day, even before Corona, I was a little monkish. I didn't like to touch things. I used my knuckle or something like that, touch buttons. So this is to touch buttons, even the ATM. And then also this little hook here is used to open doors. Wah, wah, because doors are where the most germs are. And that's because people pick their nose, open doors, pick their nose, open doors all the time. Use this, you'll you'll be free of boogies. Uh, anyway, and it also has a nice little beer cap uh, opener. So that's the gadget of the week. It is. Uh, it costs me thirty bucks. I'll let you know if it's worth it. If I don't catch coronavirus, it was worth it. Remember that. In the news today, I found an article where a museum paid a furniture repair man to restore a painting of the Virgin Mary. And it didn't turn out so well. A furniture repairman messed up the restoration of a painting of the Virgin Mary. I think she's going to stay a virgin. Anyway, I'm going to keep on reading today. I got some weird ones. I skip a few here or there. Uh, okay. 479, Thomas Edison. We don't know a millionth of 1% about anything. Did you know that his middle name was Alva? Now you do. 481, unknown. If I had known I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. I think that was attributed to somebody eventually. I forget who. William Sapphire, columnist. 482. Is sloppiness in speech caused by ignorance or apathy? I don't know and I don't care. Ooh. John C. Clancy, 483. We had seen the light at the end of the tunnel and it was out. S.J. <laughs> Perelman, to err is human, to forgive supine. To forgive supine. I think it's a play on it. it was, I think the original uh, quote was divine. So instead, S.J. Perlman says it is supine. Oliver Wendell Holmes. And this is a Holmes that I don't know if I'm related to. Uh, 485. Of course, he was a, a U.S. Supreme Court justice. What is true is what I can't help believing. What is true is what I can't help believing. I love that quote. That's asterisked here, which means I love that quote. And we're going to leave it that. I think that is uh, something that we all need to uh, let sink in. I'm going to finish my coffee here. And uh, I'm going to wish you guys the best Tuesday on the planet. Yes, you. I want you to have the best Tuesday on the planet. Seven something billion of us. And it's you you that I want to have the best of those days. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.